In this tutorial I will show you how to make your own components in DeepTrace and add them to libraries. Ok, first we will make a pattern library. DeepTrace has two library formats, pattern libraries and component libraries. Pattern libraries are actually libraries of PCB footprints and component libraries are complete components with schematic parts and attached footprints to them. First, let's create a Deep16 pattern. Choose type, lines. Change number of paths to 16. Rename it. And draw a cell screen. The pattern is done. Our second pattern will be quad 20. Now notice in the trace pattern editor you actually edit library. It is here. Currently our library have single footprint deep 16. And if you want to add second footprint to your library, choose pattern, add new to library. Currently we have two footprints. Our second footprint will be square with 20 pads and also we will rename it to quad 20 change pad properties surface rectangle 20 mils. OK. Also change parameters. And make silk screen. Our second pattern is done and now our library have two footprints in it. Our third step will be inserting several patterns from existing libraries. Right click in the list of patterns and choose insert patterns from library. Uh, here you uh, can see already listed libraries. I have added them before and I will show you how to add more libraries to this list when you install the program first time you have this uh, list empty choose add we are in program file the tray slip and choose several libraries you can choose all of them at once and select open press open and add for example several resistors to your custom library ok now we have our patterns and resistors inserted from standard library you can also sort patterns by name. Save your library. My library one. Okay. My loop one. Save. We save it in my documents that trace my libraries. Let's create our second pattern library. Press new library. We will not make uh, our own patterns and just insert several patterns from existing library. Existing standard libraries. Choose insert patterns from library. And we will make library from capacitors. That will be 
our capacitors. Okay, and several from cup SMD. Okay. Notice in this list you can minimize and maximize it. Here you can you can see the pattern, and if you maximize the list, you can see more patterns at once. Press OK. Also, delete, untitle it. Yes, and save the library. Let it be my caps. My apps. Okay. My cap slip. Save. Now you can see we have two libraries, pattern libraries in my documents, deep trace my libraries. The next step will be creating a component library with schematic symbol and attached pattern to it. First switch to component editor program. Choose I see two sides and choose the view pin numbers to show pin numbers. This will be our first uh, schematic symbol. You can change pin numbers if necessary, you can change pin names, all of them can be changed via pin manager. Pin manager. Also it is possible to display all names if necessary. You can also resize this window and resize columns. You can see more details how to make parts in standard trace guided tour. We have standard names. Also now we will attach pattern to this symbol. Press pattern button and add your libraries here. User my documents deep trace my libraries. We will choose both libraries at once and attach this schematic symbol to deep 16 footprint. Okay. Now you can see we have our first IC and our deep 16 pattern attached to it. Let name it my IC. And the second step will be inserting several ICs from standard libraries. Insert components from library. Okay, system is the same. Add several connectors. Let it be female connectors. Okay. It is also possible to sort it if necessary. My C is in the bottom, and you can see attach it footprints to connectors. Also, I recommend to change pin numbers via pin manager. It is much easier. Okay, let's save this library and title it my comp my comps okay my comps alias yeah, save notice now we have three libraries in our my libraries folder but, uh, two lib files these are pattern libraries and one ele file. This is libraries with components. And the next step will be inserting our libraries into PCB and schematic. Now switch to PCB layout. In the top of the window there is a library bar. And currently all standard libraries are listed here. 
choose library library setup in this window you you can see two lists first list is uh, the content of our library bar and second list is all known libraries of the program there are two ways to add libraries to the toolbar uh, getting from folder you can see standard folder is listed here and getting it from the list and check get libraries from the folder box now it is active and add your libraries lip trace my libraries add both my lips okay now they're also listed here if you press close you can see them here my caps and my library and you can also place components if necessary okay also maybe you don't need all these standard libraries because you simply don't use them choose lib library setup and just delete them delete and delete okay and you can also add several of them if you need in this way we can easily customize the list of libraries on the library bar the next step will be the same in our schematic now switch to schematic here also all standard libraries are listed so choose library library setup the same uh, lists list of active libraries from the library bar and list of all libraries but notice here we have component libraries not pattern libraries all of them have early extension okay and check get libraries from folder and add your early library open it is here close Oh, the list is long my comps my IC with deep 16 we will place several of them okay you can do the same here you can remove all unnecessary libraries you can keep some of them if necessary delete delete close and you have all the only necessary libraries and my comp libraries also it is possible to move it up and down in the list close in this way you can customize uh, this bar in schematics too now you can just choose convert to PCB and get uh, your schematic into PCB okay that's all